Welcome Thundercat fans to another Third Earth Reviews toy review and today I will be reviewing the Thundercats villain Captain Shiner. Captain Shiner was only released in Series 3 of the LJN Thundercats toy line in 1987. He came on a blister card packaging that fully showcased the figure and all of his accessories. Captain Shiner has some excellent sculpted details for his face. The texture and overall appearance really stands out against the simple black outfit. This outfit also allows for the bits of color for his straps and the blues for his gloves and boots to pop nicely. He is one of the taller figures as he is almost the same height as Mamra the Ever Living. Unfortunately, my Captain Shiner does have a slight case of the Thunderpox, where the plastic used for the molding is starting to break down. However, thankfully it is not too bad or too noticeable. Captain Shiner was an interesting character when he showed up on the original cartoon, so I'm glad he got an interesting figure to match. Captain Shiner has the same basic articulation as most of the LJN Thundercat figures. His head can look left and right, his arms can move up and down, and his legs can move forward and backwards. It should be noted that his arm movements are not limited by his battlematic action. In Captain Shiner's case, his battlematic action is a gun attack. This action can be activated by pressing the lever on his back. Captain Shiner comes with a laser gun, which is made of a red and silver plastic. His weapon can be a little hard to find, so if you're interested in getting this figure, you may want to think about getting him complete or with a reproduction gun. As a note, the gun I'm using for this video is a reproduction, and unfortunately the reproduction I have is slightly too big, so he can't really hold it too well. At least not without taking the silver paint off. This is something you should keep in mind if you decide to go the route of reproductions. Although I was unable to find any variation of the figure for Captain Shiner, in the mini catalog, his gun is colored blue and gray and has a slightly different design. In addition, Captain Shiner is shown with the unproduced villain vehicle, the Luna Attacker, in the mini catalog, as well as the front illustration for the Luna Lasher box. This Luna Lasher was sold separately and did not come in the two pack with Mamra the Ever Living. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can check out all my other reviews. In my next vintage Thundercat review, I will be taking a look at the Thundercat vehicles, the Hovercat. So, until then, this has been Third Earth Reviews.